Okay guys, welcome to another Why I Love. Um, this video I'm going to be taking a look at Four Apocalypse, released by Synapse Software back in 1982. Bloody hell, that's how many years ago? 30, 33 years ago! That's almost half a century ago. That's just ridiculous. Um, why this game? Well, apart from the awesome sound that you get um, as the game starts, this was, uh, again, it was one of the very, very early computer games I ever got to see. Um, it was uh, the local computer shop, which uh, was primarily an Atari dealer. Um, all the games that I saw back in the sort of early 80s, they were all uh, all imported from the States. Um, stuff like Bruce Lee, Wood Realms, Summer Games by Epix. And uh, this game as well, there's things like, uh, what was it called, Blue Max as well. Now these games, I saw them before they were imported um, by US Gold. I mean, when US Gold was formed a few years later, there was a lot more software coming from America. Um, but when I saw them, these games were, I think the guy was actually importing them himself from the States. And you know you need to you need to try and remember this was the very very early 80s. Computers were literally non-existent. You know they had just literally been introduced to the world. And you know we were the extent of sort of like our computer games were things like uh, LCD games, by like grandstand, and if you were lucky, you had a pong machine. I suppose if you're really lucky and had rich parents, you would get an Atari 2600. But, you know, this game in particular, I can just remember being absolutely blown away with how it looked and how it played. You know, look at that scrolling. Silky smooth. Now let's move quite silky smooth on the, the emulator. But uh, believe you me, it is normal silky smooth. But it's a great game. You know, it's a lot of the games, the very early games, were very, very basic. Quite literally, a lot of them were written in basic, but you know, actual what you had to do, you maybe just shoot something. But this game you introduced, you had to shoot things, you had to sort of blow your way through caverns, and then you had these, uh, you had these little sort of, uh, ooh, 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 why not die? Yeah, you had these little kind of uh, laser beams and whatnot. It was just, you know, it was an incredible game. Really, really deep game. Uh, and I loved the fact that you had to kind of blast your way through walls to try and kind of get further in. But it's, it's even now, I think it's an absolutely fantastic game. How many games that came out 30, 33 years ago, could you say, are still credible? This absolutely is. It's still an absolute awesome game. Is it going to let me through? No, it doesn't look like it. Nah, I'm not going to get through there, am I? Right, I'm going to have to try and go from the other side. You can see there you got a little sort of radar thing as well. And you're always fighting the fuel thing as well, so you have to be very careful. But this is an absolutely stupendous game, it really is. I did eventually get to play it on the Commodore 64, that was my computer of uh, choice. But, uh, what's, what's happening there? Hmm. There's obviously something stopping me getting through there. And at the top there, you can see you've got fuel, so you're always on to fight fuel as well. There's obviously something that's stopping me getting through here. Mm. 
Right, I've got absolutely no idea of why I can't get through here. It doesn't seem to be anything untoward. Ah, bollocks! It's also quite generous with the number of helicopters it gives you as well. I have no idea, how can I get through there? Whoa, 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 hey, there we go. As we go deeper and deeper. Let's get some fuel. But I think even now the graphics still look excellent. You know, it really is just a... Whoa, no, 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 that was close. And bugger off. Haha, <laughs> shit. Now, I've never completed the game. <laughs> Plex, I was here. There we go. That's obviously the little, uh, that's obviously the guy that cracked the game, I'm guessing. Whoa! So you can see up the top there, you get a little uh, radar thing, so you can kind of... Now what you need to do here is actually watch to see what direction this thing is moving. Because at the moment it's actually moving from the bottom up. No, it's not. Don't want to speak too soon, but I'm actually doing not too bad here. Make a run for it. <laughs> right, okay. Ah, I don't know why I delayed so much there. Yes, to, to make a run for it. Ooh. Ah, bollocks! I mean, I think patience in this game is... <laughs> you twat! Ah! Oh, don't believe it! Never press fire button when you're actually sitting on a little uh, pad thing.
I think I'm going to make a run for it here actually. Ah, bollocks! I think what I really want to try and do here is actually take this thing out. That was silly, I should have waited. Where is he? Where is he? That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to get killed here. Is he dead? Ah, oh, ass! That's stupid! Right, is he still there? Come on, let's just be patient. He's gone. Oops, was that the bottom one or the top one? Let's take a risk. Exactly what I've got to do here. I'm not going to try and blast my way through the. So for lucky talking guys, I'm just uh, pretty concentrated. I think this is without a shadow of doubt the furthest I've actually ever got in this game. got to watch here is you're always fighting against uh, the fuel fuel limit as well so you can't hang about too long. Yeah, you need to be very careful. I've got enough space here to get out. Enough a gun. Right, we're now. We're now. I wonder. No. Wow. Take that. Right, where am I going now? I need some fuel very fast. Yep, yeah, oh, there's fuel. I'm going to run through. I'm not exactly sure 
Wo ihr dann Ego ne? I'm taking a big risk. I'm rushing through here with uh, these laser things. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, listen guys, that's uh, that's 20 minutes, or not 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So anyway, yeah, absolute fantastic game. Why I love it? It was one of the earliest video games I ever got to see. You know, and you need to bear in mind that the stuff we were playing beforehand were stuff like Pong. And this game, it was, it just blew me away, you know, the graphics, the actual, the complexity of the game, the scrolling, the sound, the colour, amazing. Um, so yeah, I'll always, this game will always be one of my absolute favourite video games of all time. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, as usual, please stick to any comments, likes, subscribes, whatever. As usual, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for watching my man Meister channel. Please feel free to like, comment or subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter.